Hey, it's JJ from Bro Beard, and today we're talking about how to grow a beard. Just let it grow here, you see. This is true, but there are a few tips and tricks we can give you to help you along the way to grow a great beard. Number one, stop shaving. It sounds simple, but the temptation may be there to shave the neck or shave the cheeks. Initially, just let it grow from all areas of your beard. Number two, keep the skin moisturised. A good natural beard oil like Bra Beard Oil will help soothe itchiness and irritation as your new beard hair starts to break through the skin. Although most people think the beard oil is just for facial hair, it's also very beneficial for your skin too. The natural ingredients do a great job of moisturising the skin. Just apply a small amount into the palm of your hands and then massage it into the beard area. Keeping the skin moisturised will help prevent ingrown beard hairs too, which can be very painful. Number three, look after yourself. Drink enough water. Are you drinking plenty of water during the day? Although the amount of water needed to function varies from for everyone, the NHS recommends drinking 1.2 litres per day. For those in warmer climates or exercising, more is required. Drinking plenty of water will flush out toxins which help your body run smoothly. Every cell, organ and tissue requires water to operate properly. Your hair follicles need hydration for optimal performance. Dehydration will stall hair growth. Consume good nutrition. Food intake is key to encouraging beard growth too. This is your fuel. Consuming a balanced diet of good nutrients can promote hair growth. However, a bad diet can lead to hair loss. Hair follicles are mostly made of protein. Therefore, consuming protein will help get the most from them. Foods that are high in protein are eggs, nuts, beans, Greek yogurt. Fruits and vegetables mostly contain high levels of vitamins, minerals and fatty acids which all play a role in hair growth. If this is an area you're lacking in, speak to a qualified nutritionist for more information. Exercise. Being active makes you feel good. It gets the blood circulating through your veins, supplying nutrients where they are needed. Think about it. Water flushes out the toxins and plays a huge role in carrying nutrients to the required destination. Will it deliver good nutrients? Well, that's up to you and your diet choices. If you put the wrong fuel in your car, it won't function properly. It's the same with your body. It requires the correct nutrition. Exercise increases blood flow and it can also increase testosterone, which promotes hair growth. Just remember to stay hydrated when exercising. Number four, wait. Beards don't grow overnight. Okay, they do, but very, very slowly. On average, beard hair grows at 1.25 centimetres per month. So to get an idea of how your beard is going to look, you'll be waiting for around three months. It's not a long time, really. What we suggest doing in the meantime is taking a selfie at the end of each month. This will give you a visual progress. You should see a difference in growth each month. Look in the mirror. Looking in the mirror daily will just depress you because the growth is so slow you won't see a difference. Doing it at the end of each month will be much better for you. Keep using beard oil daily too. As you grow a beard, you want to keep it conditioned. Remember, when growing a beard in the early stages, you will get funny looks and some naysayers telling you to shave, but keep growing. The reward is worth it. After three months of growing, we recommend visiting a good barber for a wee tidy up and some advice on the best shape for you. Then number five, use beard-specific shampoo. As your beard gets longer, start to use bra beard wash in the shower to wash your facial hair. Sure, you can use your partner's hair shampoo, but beard-specific shampoo is specially formulated to soothe itchiness and fight beard rough or dandruff. During the process of creating bra beard wash, we, all, we wanted to add aloe vera. Aloe vera has been known to help the skin uh, repair which can reduce dandruff and also promote hair growth, making it smooth and shiny. It is also very soothing on irritated skin. Also included in Bra Beard Wash is Cocoa Glucoside. It is a natural and biodegradable, it is obtained from coconuts. It is a natural conditioner and surfacent which lathers up without the need for chemicals which are often found in high street shampoos. Organic hibiscus flower extract is added too for its moisturised and deep conditioned benefits. It is rich in amino acids and vitamin C2, which may combat hair loss. Sodium cocosulfate is made from fatty acids of a coconut. It does a great job of breaking down dirt and grease to leave an extremely clean beard. Bra beard wash is unscented. The reason for this is so that you can use any bra beard oil to scent afterwards. We have customers who prefer no fragrance at all. We also have customers who have a large collection of bra beard oils. 
why would you want a shelf full of different scented shampoos to suit each oil? So we made it unscented for full flexibility. 6. <laughs> Have a good beard care routine. Keeping up a good beard care routine with high quality products will help you while you grow a beard. Washing your beard keeps it clean from dirt and grime which can block pores and prevent hair growth. Using a good beard oil will keep the skin under your beard moisturised to prevent dry skin and irritation. It will also leave the beard feeling soft and smooth. Combing will detangle any snags. This will reduce the chances of tugging hair which can damage and remove hairs. Beard butter can also be used as a moisturiser for the skin and hair. It's also a styling product but has great skin benefits too. Brushing daily will help reduce snags too but also exfoliate the skin below and keep the pores clear. This will give them the best chance for growth. If you'd like to read more about my daily beard care routine, check out the linked video in the description below. Genetics do play a huge role in beard growth and thickness, so these tips may not deliver for everyone. But I wanted to share them in case there's a wee nugget of information that could help how to grow a beard for best results. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up below, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel to receive notifications when new videos are uploaded. Thank you for watching, stay safe, look after yourself and I'll see you on the next one.